Now let's move on to the second simplest case. It's the case when we have a limp wall. Okay, now I have limp wall. Okay, I also assume that I have a wall and I have air and air or water or water. If you have an interest for the case when you have air and water, for example, when you want to understand what's going to happen in a sea, okay, how much, how much sound will be transmitted through the submarine's wall. In that case, you have air and water and you have, you have mass. What does it mean by limp wall? Limp wall is the wall that only has mass. Okay. Suppose suppose a man which a man who has only mass, then it will collapse because it only has a mass. There's nothing to react to mg, so it has to collapse, right? Well, that's not very realistic assumption, right? But it would be representing some extreme cases. In other words, the wall's motion is mostly dominated by the motion of mass. Certainly, it is the case when the excitation frequency is very high, high frequency. Okay? So, let's study what happened for the limp wall case. Or, I could say, this kind of things could be regarded as a limp wall. Right? Very little stiffness and damping. Very little. When I shot, woo, uh, the wall behaves as if it has only mass, right? Okay. So limp wall. Let's see what happened. How much transmitted wall we have, especially for limp wall. I again assume that this has complex magnitude exponential j. omega t minus k 0 x because uh, the reason why I'm using same index k 0 is because the medium we are handling is the same. Okay. Then I want to find, we want to find out how much well, would be transmitted and reflected due to PI. How can you do that? Maybe uh, in these days, easiest way to put our question uh, in the internet, right? And the, and and the waiting for the some wise answer and the collect it, right? That kind of method only works if you do know the basic physics and the mass associated with that problem, right? So, to develop such an ability, let's study how much transmitted wave we will get. Okay. Essentially, we want to know the ratio between PT and PI and PR over PR. Okay. That means we need two equations, right? If you want to know two unknowns, then we need two equations, right? 
If we have a one equation, then we call it, it is ill-posed problem. If we have a three equation, but we have to decide two unknowns, that means that is overdetermined the case. OK. How to get the condition, two conditions? So two boundary condition. would provide the solution. And what boundary condition? Hmm? What boundary condition can we have? Tezogi, Tezog. You're waiting for my question, right? What kind of, what boundary condition? Pressure? Hmm? OK. So he suggests to consider the force acting over here and over here per area, right? OK. So the this is x, therefore the force acting uh, at x equal zero due to pi is pi exponential minus j omega t, right? And the force per unit area that is pressure acting on this surface is due to reflected wave would be pr exponential minus j omega t and minus. Is it correct? Should we put minus sign over here? Does it mean that in certain situation, PI and PR is cancel out? So what? Do you think this is minus? OK. If Nobody can answer. Let us put plus minus. <laughs> OK, that's the pressure acting on this surface. And the pressure acting on this surface is what? Pt exponential minus j omega. Is it minus or plus? Is it minus? Don't know, plus minus. And that has to be equal to, because Newton's second law says that unbalanced force moves the mass. OK? So I need another coordinate that measure the motion of the wall, limp wall. So I denote that is y. T, and that has complex amplitude y and exponential minus j omega t. Can we use the same omega? No, right? You don't like it. <laughs> but suppose we have a big air bubble over here and air bubble over here. And this air bubble is oscillating exponential minus j omega t. That means this is exciting this wall. Therefore, this wall would be responding by the omega, same frequency, because that is a linear system. And this bubble also be oscillated with the same omega. OK? So I should write over here the m y double da. And I am using coordinate x in this direction. Right? That is simply I'm applying Newton's second law for the unit area of limp wall. OK? And the problem is this sign convention. 